Um, I might be a little shaky. What I want to do is uh, be able to take uh, photos uh, with my other camera to get high res resolution photos. We're at the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania, what's commonly known as the Occupy, uh, the Occupy Honolulu. This is where a raid is taking place. You can see they have uh, crime tape put up. And uh, I'm across the street right now. damn place cordoned off so that you can't even make it to the other venue who I can get there is here are the um, truck with the bins you know that they put uh, they put the uh, items into you, you can see their number the actual recovery of items has been very uh, sparse. Uh, people need to produce um, need to produce. Uh, I'm going to take this off my belt. I'm sorry uh, if it's shaky. Okay, I'm back up to uh, the top level now. We are at uh, Thomas Square, where there is a seizure of property going on. So, um, they have the whole area taped off as crime tape, crime scene taped off, as you can see here. <laughs> so, I was walking uh, behind that area. I've got a, another camera here. You 
the No, when she's addressing them, so that they are educated. Enforce the laws, enforce the laws that protect the poor, enforce the laws that protect the peaceful. you want to you have to go the you want to answer the enforcement issue. Come on. You just want to do something that is illegal. here is the Aloha shirt. We sometimes call them Aloha police because uh, they're here to disguise their presence so the public doesn't see a bunch Bill of uh, armed people. By HPD. First Amendment table. Somebody's got to get over to the First Amendment table. At almost every perimeter of this activity is, I, I believe, a direct example of doing just that. They're taking untagged material. You see this uh, dump truck. Um, the material has been tagged for storage. This is not a storage vehicle. You saw the storage bins in the truck uh, previously. This is a dump truck. This gets trashed, and that's been the new, their new um, tactic, which is to uh, not store anything, just declare it trash and, they and throw, throw away it away. They throw away artwork because they are not qualified to determine what artwork is. They uh, seized and threw away art uh, from our off art, off after art, uh, off art after dark uh, show on the 25th. they have done is they've tagged, keeping track of the numbers, 0399. So the first n bunch were in uh, numerical order and these three, uh, 0398. This is red tent day. Of course, now these red tents will be uh, swapped out for blue tents to avoid evade seizure. Uh, you can see how uh, the traffic is blocked off here. We're gonna we're gonna get back to the um, to the uh, First Amendment table in a little while. I want to show how. Uh, the area is being uh, 
blocked off. This is from the Occupy Honolulu, which is in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street and is currently the longest running um, Occupy encampment uh, in the Occupy movement worldwide. I'm gonna. That that truck is going to the trash. You can see um, artwork sticking out of that thing. That was the Sam Manikin Nation uh, Sam Manikin Nation uh, bus stop that was seized. We'll go look uh, at this other truck, which contains stuff that is uh, seized. The, the free speech zone is still here, and the sign is still here. He refused to help her besides stealing her stuff. That's what you guys do for your job. Don't think that, that they're trying to clean up the streets. They want her stuff. They are offering help. Your tax dollars that you pay with your paychecks pays for this activity for you to harm people. Right. Speaks the truth there. No riddle there. The riddle actually is why, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I think I did good, though. I kept my you did good. for the most part. <laughs> for, for you, yeah. yeah that was pretty me. good. That was pretty good. Talking to Nova Smith, live streamer, uh, the pineapple that glitch. That one here. He doesn't care. He just wants to laugh at people, point at them. He's talking about how he's hurting people. You can see how. That's disrespectful, man. People are in need of help. Real help. You can't say you can't do that. You just let them steal her stuff. You can see the uh, splintered paddle uh, lo emblem on uh, this officer's shoulder. There's a splintered paddle. Which guarantees protection of people. In this case, not enforced. Repeatedly violated by HPD um, through threat of uh, violence. You can see weapons and whatnot. Well, we can prove it. Yeah. We'll just take photos of it. Yeah. You're taking it, and you just take a photo so that way you can claim it. But he's going to have to bring ID and uh, get the registration if he has it. Well, the ID is his we'll face. It's it's his face so matches the bike. Any identification. Oh, he's make All he's going to get the citation, but he doesn't want to do it. So take the photos and try to explain it. So they know what they're doing. Is this why you join in? Okay, he's... I'm, my question is, how is this different from theft? Why are you guys not considering the stealing? Can you explain to you, sir? Or do you, yeah. want to, you want to even listen to what I'm asking? Sure, 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 I will, I will. So let me explain. 
untaxed bicycle. Yeah. It's not really it's not taxed. But it is a small bicycle car. Yeah. And need to be registered here. Uh, in right. So you got to just go to the city, bring the serial number, date of purchase, or something like that, and then register it. So it's not registered. It's considered an untaxed bicycle. Yeah. They cannot provide who, who it belongs to them. Yeah. So we can just cite them. It's a fifty something dollar fine to get the citation, but he doesn't want to prove any identification. Right. So we don't know what it is. So what he has to do is have to go back to. Wouldn't his room. possession of it show uh, ownership he, of it? His he has no testimony. Do you guys Does that have any identification? Right. We won't provide any identification. Yeah. We can't issue a citation to somebody who don't have any identification. On. Okay. He refuses to give us any information. We can't do anything about that. So we'll take it and then he can claim it at the, the main station. It's just a block away. Okay. Um, do you, do you, do you believe that you're utilizing your right now? We're not doing anything wrong. Nobody here is doing anything wrong. The only people here who are doing anything wrong are the ones in uniform. You guys, absolutely correct. That's it. You hear that we're doing anything wrong? I have been, repeatedly. I have, repeatedly. And it's being blown off. And nothing's being done about it. You can report them to the police commission. Oh, I mean, you know, yeah, what you're saying. It's a fucking top down criminal organization, man. I have no love loss for the police. I don't. Because this is the kind of shit that, that's allowed to take place. You want people's respect? You want us to, to chill, chill out about stuff? And you can't allow this to happen. The items that were, ta that were tagged were taken. Items of value were thrown in the back of a dump truck. Right, not for storage, that's for disposal. That's trash. That's theft. You're stealing. It's theft, man. We, we would get arrested for it. It's allow it to take place. This is stealing stuff. This is stealing private property. Can you guys... This is private property? I'm sorry, what did you say? The, the, the property that we had, our property, you're, you're stealing it. You know? Even Bill 54 like says that we have a right to collect like it. We're the public. Like yelling, no, I really don't. He's if you think that this is fun for me or that I enjoy doing this, you're sorely yeah, mistaken. You don't have to yell, I'm right here. I'm just telling you. No I'll talk to you. Just All right, talk fine. Look, right? okay. you know what point blank. What is your point? No, what is that no, no, point blank. Public blank. property, but you skipped over the bill. Fifty four no crap. We can fight that out in court because it's garbage. Right? Twenty four hours. No, this item starts stored. But right now, today, that law is in effect. Store? That doesn't say. What DSM is doing right now is outside of the law. There was outside the law. That was thrown in. There was property of value. That's theft. Police that's theft. And demand that, that, that the city reimburse me for that debt. Commission. You said that. I put money But DFM, like you just mentioned, right? They're not law enforcement officers. They're not police officers. They're not. So they going to the police commission. Or something DSM is doing. That's no, the catch. No, That's the catch, bro. Well, the saying, sworn officers of the law are allowing other city employees okay. to willingly well, break the law. Right. commission as well as you're going to have to take it up with DSM. I'm just telling you, no, so you're, I, gonna go, I, you're not going to go over the this round. They should, go around DFM shouldn't even be exist. Our tax dollars are going to be. Then if you want to talk to the this police commission, you talk to the police This is my beef with HPD. Right. Right. I didn't put you guys to enforce the law. Even a law that I don't necessarily agree with. Right? Because that's a different fight. That's not one here, that's one in a courtroom. Okay? You are here assisting DFM. What is possession? I don't know who you are. And violating ordinances in the law. And to break and to break stuff. My name's Terry Anderson. That's my name. Okay? That's what they're doing. Because there's there's no accountability. Nobody's checking any of their paperwork. And some of the stuff is obvious. Artwork? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's How can you obvious. say that that has no value and let them throw it in the back of a dumpster? The damage is already done. Yeah, the property of value. That This is the third occasion now that they just brought in a dump truck and threw it in. So somebody's property. I know you did. Bill 54 says you got to tag it. And store, and that the owner right. has 30 days to collect it. Right. Of value. How Absolutely. How can you say artwork and a desk has no value? Yeah. How can you say a chair has no value? 
And who makes the determination? It's theft. It's clearly theft. No, I can't. I'm glad to broke my stuff. I'm glad to see this plant. The people will the people will want to see this plant, so I'm showing it. This, is, this was tagged, but as you can see, being carried in, it has not been seized. It's grown some, too. It's, grow, it's growing very, very well. What kind of plant is that? What is that? Hawaiian chili pepper. All right. It's a native plant. That's what we're asking. Unlike most of these people, I'm guessing. Surely you're not Hawaiian. Surely you're not Hawaiian acting like this. Surely, surely not. That's why people do that. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as, I mean, I don't know. I, I have a little around, but get up with it. Most of the officers that are around, it's very clear cut. So if GFM is doing their job and actually following both of the four on the side, that is going to take the kickback, take a couple of and then take. I don't really have to worry. I don't say anything about it. I don't know what the complete garbage is. When this goes on, this is what I think. Mean. Really what I get about it. Yeah. Yep. How is that helping you? How is that helping you? Get arrested for touching his own property. It's his property. It's his property. Because right now we're conducting an investigation, right? I seen you talking to him. I thought you were done. Actually, they're over on the other end. I'm going to go follow them over there. I'm walking over now to the Victoria Street side where they've continued. Uh, the harassment of uh, the houseless, the politically unorganized houseless are on this uh, side. have also uh, suffered uh, repeated um, repeated raids, illegal uh, seizure, not according to Bill 54, have had uh, clothing and uh, other stuff uh, seized, as you can see here. Those bins are storage bins, but you need a credit card to. And right now, this is what you guys are doing to the people at the bottom. Yep. We're not saying the system has to be perfect, we're saying that the system has cracks. And yep. the system has cracked. You're just helping out. There is a problem. Out. When we use the money that we have to help each other to take the, to, to disrupt each other's livelihood. And there is a problem when there are so many people sleeping on the street that they, that they created a department to remove them. Instead of using our resources to help each other, we're prioritizing our financial needs. By the way, I'm going to get over on the other side. Huh? <laughs> yeah, shit, I was like, I forgot they'd come over here. What was going on here? It's a good way for us to help each other as a whole. And if you go to bed at night tonight... Here it is. This is a good, this is a good picture of what, what we got. We got... How can any of you... Sleeping, uh... Stuff. The thing, the items required by what's called the act of, uh... Active living. Once again, how many of you will actually be here if this wasn't your job? Right. Do you guys not see what the city, county, and the state are trying to do to people? Yes. Anyone not see that? And did you know that every time you buy something, you are taxpayers too? You are paying into the system that is.
Legal does not mean right. That's a, that's a really good point. That is a really good point. That's a classic shot. There's a cart going into the carts going into the back hole. Classic shot. Good one. Stealing from the poor. Personal possessions, clothes, implements needed for the act of living going into the dumpster, not being stored uh, as uh, Bill 54, Ordinance 11 029 requires. Here's uh, the ones calling the shots are models for uh, Asian settler colonialism. They, they need to read that book. Uh, Candace Fujikane uh, edited a book called uh, Asian Settler uh, Colonialism, and uh, we got some we got some poster children for that here. <laughs> I tell you, I shouldn't laugh, but like you know. It's, Though they're following a script. They do that. They do that. They uh, threaten to take uh, phones as evidence, which is why we try and live stream. Because uh, they swipe this phone and. It's the same system that is making you guys commit crimes against. Not only you the can, natives of this land, you can see that the the, that the top of that dumpster is full of stuff. Anyway, it, that that dumpster is completely full. I'm going to try and get a view here. Can you get a better shot from down there? Like I'm going to try. Oops. All right. Oh. Okay. Got it. What do you guys believe you are doing by taking people's stuff away? by tossing it aside because it looks like trash. Don't you see? You guys want to keep this part clean? Because it's the only piece of green left in, 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 in the entire city of Honolulu. Look 
look around you. This place is a concrete jungle. You want to protect this green? Because it's the only thing you got left is in this part. Hey, go have lunch. And not against you guys, brothers and sisters. I'm only against oh, the day. title and the authority that you have sworn to uphold. You're just joining us. We are at uh, Thomas Square, where Department of uh, Facilities Maintenance and HPD has uh, conducted a raid on the occupied Honolulu. Okay. Can I even keep your schools open? No, you can and see at the top of this truck. You fucking sell out. This is how you. This is how the state and the city put orange. Bicycles, uh, chairs. Instead of utilizing it. That sort of thing. Help educating our youth and helping each other. You know, I'm. Uh, your resources. Associated with the Occupy Honolulu. But this corner where they attack the houseless and take away their food and clothes and shelter is the, is the hardest to, to witness. The whole lot in that truck. Imagine that's all what you had. And everything you just had was taken away. You see, uh, bicycles. They away because the big guy said, hey, that looks ugly. System's ugly. System sure is ugly. And this ain't the system we made. <laughs> That's Kue. Kue. Now that is the coordinator of the Office of Housing. What's her qualification to help homeless people? She's the deputy prosecutor under the mayor who is the chief prosecutor. I got a good shot. I'm taking photos here with my other camera, so. She promised help uh, yesterday. Um, Trish came and stole uh, all the woman belonging. Elderly woman took all her stuff. Does the city and county of Honolulu and are leaving? And the state believe that she is just that something is just wrong with her. But once again, how you can effectively, correctly criticize or judge a society is when you look at the people at the bottom. She's a product of this system that you're working and, for. And they took all their stuff away. We Can you imagine that? that? I she tell you, you're not going to believe it. If you, if you were here, whoever's watching, yeah, look how they tore up the park. And the, and that your if you're here, today, you wouldn't believe it. All she has they took her. all all she has, all this woman has. Uh, and there's no one helping her. The Office of Housing came... Trish Morikawa came yesterday, promised help. So now she has no clothes, no belongings, no tent, no shelter. They 
and she is out on the street. This woman's out on the street. Uh, Just as you see her, even without any uh, shoes, and they're going to go away. And that's it. That's it for her. Now, when they leave here, they go to other homeless encampments. They, they do raids uh, continually. So they go from place to place. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the more established ones because it's never gone away in 208 days. Those red tents you will see will be coming down to. Free free speech Officer doesn't. Officer, can you close the ordinance for me, please? No power, microphones, or anything within the park grounds unless they have a permit. I did 10 dash what? 10 dash 1.2. 10 dash 1.2. Ordinance. They should put it on the sign. It's not on the sign. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna put this down a sec so I can get off this. Uh, now they took all this elderly woman's uh, belongings, clothing, tent, whatnot. Um, she could use some help from a housing service, which was promised a couple of nights ago. Uh, they took her stuff and are, are now leaving. Cop is walking away. I forget his name, but that, this is kind of his corner. He was here uh, to arrest the original group. Um, which was uh, November 5th, 208 days ago. And there they go. That crane truck is the one with um, the bins in it, uh, where they're supposed to store property, of course. Very, very little of that stored property has been recovered in it. Most of it's been thrown out in 30 days. We live in a multi-billion dollar industry. Well, this was all done by the business association anyway. Yeah. It was something that benefits uh, and, and, Right. But, I mean, there's a problem when, when a state is multi-billion dollar, um, creates a multi-billion dollar revenue. Kind of this kind of Nazi and normative and image of what society should be. Yeah. And what, what, what um, they want to see it as, which yeah. doesn't include all of us. No, it, it includes an upper echelon, it, but not a lower echelon. Absolutely. The upper echelon gives a nasty, filthy filter to go in Honolulu. That's what they get to have. Yeah. And that's out of sight and out of mind, so Mr. and Mrs. Honolulu don't get to see that. That's right. Exactly.
Uh, we're going to come look at, uh, get evidence of, uh, We're gonna we're gonna look at this. Uh, this is um, actually taking. It dug up the uh, earth here pretty good. Somebody somebody twist their ankle in here. Make sure go file a statement at the police station. Torn up. You only get the facilities maintenance. The, that's the people that were here tearing up the facilities. Facilities maintenance, uh, but they don't really see their job as maintaining the facilities. Uh, they see their job as stealing from the poor conducting armed raids in the poor and the peaceful. I'm kind of upset, you know. I'm upset about this. We're walking over to the other side of the park now because we want to document that uh, Occupy Honolulu has uh, pointed out that uh, the rains and whatnot have um, brought these branches down but instead of the parks and uh, facilities maintenance people maintaining this they have instead ignored it I'm gonna take some pictures there Okay, I'm going to go back up there. Right behind that is uh, the Deoccupy encampment. We'll go up there and see what's up. If you're just joining us, uh, the uh, Honolulu Police Department and the Honolulu City and County Department of Facilities Maintenance uh, have conducted a raid and seized on tag property, but not tent. This is what happens when you try to interfere with um, systematic injustice by okay. the state and city and county of Honolulu. I got a case filed against me um, this morning when, oh. I, uh, when I went to court. Obstructing uh, government operations case section 710-1010-1A uh, HRS Hawaii Revo Revised Statute. So I'm gonna. We're all gonna be looking that. Up. State of Hawaii versus. State of Hawaii versus Midori, and that's yeah. Midori. Yeah. <laughs> and this is from, I guess, May third. Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to show that to everyone. This is what happens when you try to call bullshit. <laughs> right. <laughs> On um, ordinances that. But we'll see. Well, you and you're gonna take it to trial, no? Yeah. We're gonna take it to trial, and we get and hard for this one. we get to put the uh, the system on trial. Yeah. We get to put them on trial because this is I was there when they did it. This is like totally bogus crap. Yeah. You know. So I just wanted to show that. To Thank you. you. I'm gonna I'm also gonna take a still picture of it later so I can look have a record for it. And with that, we will be leaving you and say goodbye, and we'll All talk right. to you.